Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another video about how to implement the video and voice collab with Zego Club. This time around, I'll be showing you how to integrate that in React Native. So don't waste your time rebuilding some basic stuff which could have just been a single import statement. So basically, Zego Cloud is the world's leading real-time audio and video cloud service provider that provides the video and voice SDK and API for developers to easily build live audio and video experiences on mobile and web platforms within minutes. In the previous videos, I showed you how to integrate that in Flutter. I will link it down in the description below. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to implement that in React Native as well. So with that said, let's jump right in. Let's initialize our React Native app by typing MPS React Native in it and proceed with the name of our app, which I will name it as Video Call App. So in here, to start downloading the templates and also install some JavaScript dependencies as well. And to actually see this working on your terminal, you need to have Node.js and also the React Native installed. So once that is done, we need to change the directory to the video caller folder and open that in VS Code with code and a period. These are the various folders and files you see when you generate a React Native app and the source code is found within the app.js file. Let's comment out the node import that's causing the error and also refactor our code and run our app to see what we have so far. So let's type yarn android to start our project. You can use npm. I'll go for yarn in here. So this is what you see when you run the app showing you the various steps to get started. So I'll just get rid of everything in here and start from scratch. So let's first of all import React from React and also create the app function, the default app function. And we did that, let's return a view. Within that view, let's start with a test component, build a video and voice call app with Zego Cloud. And remember we need to import the view and the test from React Native library. So import the view and also the test from React Native and saving the changes. You can see it reflects on the Android emulator. Let's like give some silence to it. Let's align items at the center. You can see it over there and also let's justify content to be at the center. So give it a flex of one there we go we can see it at the middle so it's now working perfectly so let's head towards the documentation and add a dependency so yarn add zego ui kit private call dependency so i'll open a terminal in here and i'll open a new terminal in here and add that dependency Let's also add these dependencies as well. So I'll copy that. We will be navigating between screens, so I'll just add the React navigation and also the native stack as well. So once we have a successful installation, when we check the package.json file, that's where you get to see our installed dependencies. So as you can see it over here. So I'll start by creating a folder and name that folder as screens. Within that folder, I'll create a file and name it as home. 
app.js so let's start creating our home component so we need to create a function s4 default function home and within that we are going to return a view the view is more or less like a div if you have experience with html and also within that let's return a test to some test of home screen and let's import the view and the test from react native library so we need to import that Let's proceed by creating another file within the screen folder and name it as callpage.js and I'll copy the code within the home and paste it within the call page changing in the name of the function to call page. Let's find the title to be make a call. It also takes in the on press. So whenever the button is pressed, we are going to navigate to the call page. So you do navigation dot navigate and pass in the name of the screen, which is call page. So we need to import the use navigation from React navigation and also initialize that. As you can see over here, when you click on the button, you've been navigated to the call page. So let's give some silence to the view in here. So with the styling, let's first of all give it a flex of one just five content to be at the center and also align items to be at the center and saving the changes we can see the button is found in the middle of the home page here's what is found within the call page app so with the documentation let's just copy what is found here and paste it within the call page app and refactor the code in here a bit So in here, we need to import the Zigo UI preload call and also get our app ID, our app sign. So with the configuration, we'll be integrating one-on-one -on -one video call config. So we need to change the name in here. So we'll be navigating to the home page. Yeah. So let's proceed to get our app ID and also our app sign. So. I'll check out the admin console so within the admin console we need to create a project for that and I'll choose video and voice call up in here and click on the next button so in here you need to give the name of your app of which I will name it as voice call up and just start with the UI kit so in here to start creating your voice call up project So we go for React Native in here and also click on save and integrate. So when that is done, you get your app ID and also your app sign in here. So I'll just grab my app ID and also my app sign in here and replace it accordingly. So with the user ID and the username, you can just go with any value but the color id should be unique that's when one can join using that one so it should be unique for each one so i'll just give it some random name my name and save in the changes so we need to set up permissions within the android folder the app firm permission so within your android folder move on to the app folder the source folder the main folder we have the android manifest.xml then you just paste in the permissions in here and save in the changes so you also need to copy the above code and paste it within the app folder slash the pro guard rules dot pro so as you can see it's over here so within the pro guard rules just pasting this and saving the changes so we need to configure the permissions for for the ios as well 
so we move on to the project and info p list and copy the below code and paste it within the ios folder move on to one of the folders in here we have the info p list and just paste add it to the date part so let's get rid of the props in here and saving the changes that's basically it we also need to import the view as well so once you are done let's give it a try if you're having any errors you need to add these dependencies to get rid of the errors that's the react native gesture handler the safe area context the screens and also the native sound so click on make call you can see the pre-built call is the go cloud comes with you have everything built for you already yeah. that's interesting so that's basically when you visit the core page app we integrated one-on-one -on -one video call config you can also integrate the video call config the group video call voice so you just import that and implement so I'll, I'll do one quick in here so I'll just implement group video call configuration and also get rid of this and also import that from Zego Cloud so just saving the changes let's give it a try let's try to make a call you can see the interface as well you can see the members who just joined since it's a group call let me turn the back camera there we go so if you find this tutorial to be useful interesting consider subscribing see you in the next tutorial until then stay tuned